Come on in, let's have dinner. Come on in, come on, come on in. How y'all doing today? Oh, y'all ready to eat? I am. Let's roll the credits. Look what we have today. And I believe, you know what? I have not smacked my boy. You know, we got to smack the boy. This is scene one. Take two. Let's roll the tape. I was like, I haven't been slapping my boy. Hey, Hustis, how y'all doing today? Thank y'all for coming in and eating with me, snacking with me, whatever you do. So come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks and sit and chat with who? This hood girl to the hood. Let's say prayers and we for to dive into this Sunday meal. Bow your heads if you will. My Father God, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for tender mercies and grace today. Thank you for divine favor, Lord, and blessings seen and unseen. Thank you. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. And amen. Oh, thank you. Mm. Yeah. We got water. <laughs> so this is Sunday. Always, we always going to have a Sunday dinner together. So this is going to be a toast for a new week with new blessings. Okay. So salute, salute. Let's just sip this good water. Cheers. Well, y'all know it's too early for me to have my Sunday cocktail as well. So without ado, are you ready to see what we're eating? We got some oven smothered pork chops, bone in that is. We have some uh, green beans with bacon. And of course, we got that hood girl seasoned rice. So take what you want. Yum, yum, give me some. How was y'all weekend? Thank y'all for looking at the last video. Yeah, uh, I do, I want. I want hot sauce on my rice, y'all, because I didn't want the gravy on my rice. And I don't know if I want it on my green beans or my meat right now. But, y'all, I've had a great weekend. Thank you for asking. Yesterday, we had some good fall weather back here at this water. Uh, listening to my, uh, my old school music with a cocktail kicked up on my patio was beautiful. Fall. I am so ready for fall. You know, that's my that's my favorite season, y'all. So, yeah. Uh, what are y'all favorite uh, seasons? Comment below. So, yeah, I've had a great quiet weekend. You know, last week I, I worked every day um, overtime. I, know, I don't know what this week is going to bring. But um, y'all know next Monday, God said, saying we still be living. It will be a... a uh, uh, a holiday Monday, so I will be sleeping in. Mm -hmm. I went and got some beef tips, y'all. Not beef tips, rib tips yesterday, y'all. I didn't have nothing to do yesterday. And I just got in my car and just driving around. Who do that? Me. And I was like, I, I, I remember the store said they had the brisket bones on sale. So I was like, okay, that's something different for me um, for the holiday day. So I went and got some uh, rib tips. I'm going to have me some collard greens and some of uh, uh, Sam's uh, macaroni and cheese that you have to bake. I will have that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm going to go anywhere. For right now, I just want to be at my house, you know. If one thing some we could have learned, not all of us learned it, y'all. In the shutdown of COVID and still... It's complacement to know who you are, to learn who you are, to to know what God gave you for his for his work. You know, I don't mind being by myself because I have fun out by myself. You know why? Because I love myself and I know how to have fun, you know. So this is good. This rice is bomb. So, um. That onion and garlic in here is just, it's just good with rice, y'all. 
Mm hmm So, mm, so hot though under there. Ooh, so hot under there. So your life is what you make it. You know? Sometimes cut your phone off or, uh, or just shut your ringo off, you know, really low. Y'all, look, I'm talking. <laughs> that time. Uh, get into a place, learn how to meditate. Be quiet sometimes, you know. Let all the other negativity stuff go, you know, and put the good stuff in your mind, you know. Mm hmm. Life is, mm -hmm. I don't know what I did with these green beans, but don't they tasty? Y'all, you know, I got big chunks of garlic in here too, y'all. Because y'all know I like the garlic. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Got a piece of bacon over there. It's good, ain't it? I know. It's good. So, here, let me tell you something. Live your life. You want to get this wine? Have fun. But do it with goodness, though. Mm-hmm. This is a good Sunday meal. And I got a lot of onions here. Y'all. And I'm and the gravy, um, uh, you know, I did the sloth of uh the the um uh, flour and this and I seasoned the flour like I seasoned my meat. And then I put a little brownie in it. Mm-hmm. This is some good meat, y'all. Really good. I think I might I might mold some uh, hot sauce. But look here, y'all. Right back to life. Life is precious. Live it. I had a um, post that came off my time hop today that I posted last year. And it said, live like you're dying. You know, because we're going to live and then we're going to be gone. So while you're here, Choose happy, choose joy, get to know who God is and, you know, be in his presence and let him be in your presence, you know, and things change when you start to trust God, for real. So, yeah, be used. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. Hey, um, put a ring on it. Oh, I know a lot of y'all don't watch it. The last two couples, um, they proposed to their long-time girlfriends. I don't think none of them going to get married, though. But the finale, uh, the reunion, next Friday, <laughs> I'm going to have my cocktail. Because it's going to be juicy. Y'all, you know, I love uh, dating uh, movies and stuff. Mm-hmm. I guess because I love love, you know? Yeah, I do. I just love love. Mm-hmm. It feels good when it's good and when it's real, you know? Mm. I have a question. It, do, and this for, this for men and women. Do you want to know your your spouse's friends? Like, the, the, like wives. Do you want to know the women friends of your husband and husbands? Do you want to know the men friends in your woman's and your wife's life? Do you? I, for me, yeah. We ain't got to hang out. Sometime. And friends be going through some stuff. 
I'm gonna jam you right there with them, and they can ride on your shoulder. And you're consoling them. Sometimes shit happens. I am not gonna say I'm not gonna trust my man, but I want to know who your friends are. Mm-hmm. I do. I don't think that's insecurity. I don't. But uh, you can't come to me after a long-term relationship and say, you have a friend that you've been friends with 10 years and I don't know about him. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. anybody in my life, you're going to know who they are. You're going to hear me talking about them. If you don't meet them, you're going to know about them. Mm-hmm. And you're going to know the part they play. And I'm on the same. Is that asking for too much? Because today is different, y'all. We talk about that all the time, too. Today's things are just not the same with dating. The mindset, once again, is just not the same. So, I want to know. Now, if we just friends and kicking it, <laughs> Y'all know what that means, huh? Mm -hmm. It don't matter. But what does matter if you're not sleeping with everybody that you know? That matters. Mm -hmm. People crazy. You know, you can have these friends and these friends and these friends and somebody who got their feelings intact in, in with you and Realize you got another friend, they coming to kill them. Or stalk them, or do some crazy call the phone. People are crazy today. So, you know, I'm careful who I allow in my private space. Mm -hmm. And y'all, y'all already know. I just haven't met the man that I want in my, my space. And I meet him. I just don't like them. <laughs> Period. Maybe somebody to talk to to pass the time away. But I never, I haven't met nobody that I want to kiss and hug and do the nasty with. You know, I haven't met him yet, and it's going on three years. Hmm, gristle. Mm, mm, that's good. Down to the bone. I'm smacking, huh? <laughs> mm. So I haven't met him yet, but I know I'm going to meet him. Just don't know when and where. Because he's not necessarily here. But who's to know but God? Mm hmm But I'm really gonna go already. Mm-hmm. Cause it's only in his timing anyway. But you know what? The the on the flip side, I'm just so happy. I think that's the difference. Cause a lot of people going in, you know, a lot of people are depressed right now as well. Some people are lonely. Everybody don't uh, like to be by themselves. They don't know how to entertain themselves. Some people, some people are needy. They need a person. All of us are different. We just have different needs, you know. One thing that I can be true to myself is uh. I love sex. Good sex. When it's good, I want it again and again and again and again and again. But I had to get myself out of that sex mind. You know, because uh, 
yeah, I had to do that. So, I don't mind being by myself. <laughs> mm -mm. I love it, actually. Mm -hmm. I do. But sometimes I think, I mean, I, it's just a thought. Do you do you want? Uh, uh, well, I know by God you have to be married, and I'm getting ready for that. I struggle with it, but y'all already know that, right? Mm -hmm. mm. That's just some good eating, y'all. I want somebody that I can hang out with, you know? Kick it with. And don't be so fast to try to form a relationship with me, you know? Don't be needy, but want me. Mm hmm That's the difference. And I've been trying to put myself in the place of me and my age, but mm, I don't know if I like that. I'm not going to count them out, but I haven't met one that's energetic like myself, you know? And I need that. Because I'll get bored fast. You know, one thing you don't want to do is when you call on your phone, you're looking at your phone like this. Oh, God. <laughs> I have done that. Mm-hmm. Y'all yeah, remember Mark three years ago. He reached out to me what, a month ago? Talk to him. Why are you doing that? He said, hey, sweetheart. I said, I'm not your sweetheart. My name is Juanita. Can you please call me Juanita? Not your sweetheart. But y'all remember with Mark. Y'all know I like Mark a little bit. I like them enough. But, uh... Mark was cheap. Mm -mm. We don't do cheap. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm old school. It's give and take with me. Can't be a taker without giving. Mm mm. This was a meaty poke bone. Uh, poke bone. Poke chop. Y'all been eating a lot of pork, huh? So that's probably the only thing you can afford this day because beef is gone through the roof. This is good. That's fat right there. That is too. Y'all know I'm going to suck that bone off camera, right? Because you know there's a lot of seasoning in that bone. Mm -hmm. This is so good. And I was kind of torn if I wanted to smother it down in some mushroom uh, soup. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad I did it my way. I did it just the way I wanted. Oh, y'all. There go that bell. Excuse me. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Mm-hmm. That's a thick poke chop. But anyway, y'all. That's it. That's all. Now, I'm going to tell y'all uh, 
DM on my on my Instagram. <laughs> Good Lord, have mercy. I get a lot of DMs, men. But I just, I'm not attracted to them, you know? You got to have that attraction. And you can't be my child's age, none of my children. My children are 37, 39, and give me be 40. Can't be that age either, so I don't give you no attention when you DM me. Just know that, okay? What's gonna happen? Just saying. But I get a lot of DMs. <laughs> a lot, and one just came through. So y'all. Mm hmm. They don't do that. I do not want to potty train you. I do not want to house train you. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's bone, y'all. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say I'm really picky. I just know what the hell I want. Mm-hmm. And he'll know too when he meet me. <clears throat> Just like I'll know when I meet him. But I'm in no rush. Y'all, we done. We ate this food. Y'all see that? Imp well, here's my last fork for him. Mmm. Mmm. That was good. So we can cancel this timer. Mm. Mm hmm. Did I tell y'all? I see who it is when I'm off this uh, camera. All right, y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for your support. Thank you for keep coming back because you don't have to do it. And thank you for loving your hood, girl. Because you know what? I love you too. And you know that, right? Y'all, I'm sporting my hair. I am sporting my hair more than I did, but those braids was pulling. That's why I don't wear them no more. Shit, and they were so long, I was sitting on them. I was like, ooh, <laughs> we can't do that. Anyway, it was getting my head tender. So, y'all, I'm wearing my natural hair uh, for another couple of days. Just a couple. I was at the wig store yesterday. I did buy a bag of hair, which I did not need, but I did it. Because that's my weakness, y'all. So. And I like to look good. You know, I do. All right, y'all. Y'all ready to sing? Come on, choir. Come on, the people in the back. Let's do this, honey. Let's sing our way out. Y'all ready? It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around. On the other side. So whatever y'all do for the rest of this Sunday, please do it good. Do it with purpose. Purpose, y'all. And then do it with what? Okay, y'all ready? Genuine love from the heart. Let it be done. People need that too. And when you give it, you get it back. On some kind of level, you, you just do. Favor comes. So get it. It's good, and it feels wonderful. I love y'all. Bye.